All right, uh, we're gonna do a little inking here. Um, I'm just gonna ink this little Catwoman face here. And uh, so you're gonna need your uh, Speedball Super Black ink. And uh, I have a little uh, cup, just an old junky plastic cup full of water. And I've got a, uh, I don't even know what kind of brush this is, but it's a synthetic uh, and natural hair hybrid. So I feel like that gets a better point to it, and that's really the important part is that you keep a point. Uh, I also used to really press down hard, and uh, it really hurts your wrist to do that, so always kind of keep it loose and do most of your movements from your wrist, uh, and that way you'll avoid some kind of injury. Um, so the first thing you want to do is take your super black ink and kind of shake it up. And uh, I always take my brush and I, I dip it in this water and I kind of swirl it around and uh, that kind of gets it ready to accept the ink into the brush. And uh, then I unscrew this here and I keep this here in my, my left hand. And I just dip it a little bit and it'll just kind of rise up the brush. And, you can see, I don't know if you can see in the light, the, the ink is basically just um, on the tip of it. And then I kind of do some little test lines off on the side. And I always have little scratch pieces of Bristol board. This is in my sketchbook. So uh, you can see it's kind of getting gray there. It's because I put water in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get it dipped again because I want this to be pretty black. When I scan it, I can change the contrast. But the great thing about brushes is you can see that you can get this thick and this thin line in one fell swoop. You can just kind of like that. Now, if you're using a, a Pentel pocket brush, um, you can get that same effect, but you got to move slower, or else you get this really jagged edge, dry brush look to it, where the shadows would be. So um, the chin is going to cast a shadow onto this neck here, which I haven't drawn the neck, but um, it's going to be most prominent here at the tip. So I'm going to take my brush and I just kind of pull a line down and I can build this up so that it actually looks like one big brush stroke. And I like that thin look here along her cheek. You'll see I'm getting this thick and then thin line here at the top. And sometimes it's just like building up a line by going over the same area a few times. See, I can take a very hairy line and make it nice and smooth.
So here I'm actually moving from the fingers. But for large lines, you want to move from the uh, wrist. I'm going to dip back in my water because it seems like things are kind of getting scratchy. I'm going to go for some more ink. And the way I designed this, I wanted the shadow of her nose to kind of imply a cat's nose. So I've always seen that the cartoon cats have those triangular shaped noses. I also wanted her mouth to kind of look cat-like. So these, I made her mouth really a lot wider than it should be. So it looks like there's whiskers there. So this is tricky here. The lips are going to cast a shadow. But then they get this line. Notice you got it got smaller there. Kind of a lost and found thing here. I'll just keep this real simple up there. So it's not just outlining; it's figuring out how to make these shapes look like they have some depth in space. So it looks like I had dripped on that from earlier. I'm going to have to go in with some white out and get that fixed up. And you can see I've kind of I kind of sketched in her eyes, and I decided to go with that uh, Dark Knight Returns design where she's got the goggles. So I'm just going to leave those blank. I couldn't really pull I couldn't figure out how to pull off the reflection without it looking like you could see into them. I wanted those to be very mirror glass. Okay. 